Hello folks, uh, still on the subject of the Spyderco C36 uh, military. Um, earlier I spoke about the first uh, knives that they came out with, which is the one in black G10 uh, handle and the CPM 440V steel. Okay, here I have with me two very fine specimen. Uh, first it's, is this uh, olive drap handled spider coal uh, military now this one came about uh, in the mid 2000s i believe um, it has a very special uh, steel and i think it was done in a very limited run this is uh, cpm uh, d2 d2 is it's a steel that is used by uh, some of those big industry boys for die cutting it's a very tough steel um, and it's also one of the uh, steel that can really hold an edge for a long time. So when you talk about the uh, wear and tear, the edge retention of this knife is uh, pretty good. You can see that there are uh, scratches on the knife. This has really been used and all that. Um, to get it back in, in shape, if you, need, if you need to put back an edge on this knife, you will practically need something harder than a uh, ceramic rod or, or a piece of uh, hard steel. You need diamond coated uh, surface to put an edge back on the knife. The, uh, the CPM D2 version of the military um, was available as a, as a sprint run as they call it. Uh, something that is made in very limited number. So the design of the knife um, the, the clip is still the same, it, it curves together with the handle, really really nice to fit in your pocket and it can be reversed, uh, oh sorry no, not reversed, this, this, this has no, no uh, uh, reverse, uh, you can't reverse the clip, this is just basically a one way thing and whatever uh, they have um, made earlier for, for easy uh, fee maintenance, you know, is the fact that you can take out the, the screws that uh, holds it together and feel strip it and clean it up. Now, as we move along, Spyderco came up with something really, really interesting. Now, I have with me here something that uh, any, any long-standing uh, fan of folding knife would really oogle and dream of. This is the Spyderco Titanium uh, Handled Military. Now, unlike the uh, liner lock version, this is something that uh, you will find in many high-end uh, factory folding knives. This, this actually has a frame lock. Now, what's the difference? The liner lock, once you pop it up, the liner, the lock is part of the liner. So, on this version of the, the military, the lock is part of the frame. Now this is something you will find in uh, high-end knives like the Chris Reeve uh, Sabenza and the Umnum Zan. So the lock is uh, an integral part of the knife. This technology is uh, something that uh, is very strong and to make it even more uh, user-friendly, you can see scallop uh, holes uh, on, the, on the lock. So when you disengage the lock, it's pretty grippy. And what I like about the, this version of the military is that it's really smooth. And for steel material, Spyroco uses the CPM S30V. Now S30V is uh, premium quality steel, um, the best you can get out of uh, out of uh, blade material. It has uh, good corrosion resistance. Uh, it, it holds an edge very well. You you can keep using it until uh, it dulls up, you know. And it really takes a lot of cutting to dull the edge. Now, as far as the uh, the strength of the knife is concerned, something like this is quite strong. It is titanium, and the the lock is part of the frame. Um, just like the its uh, predecessors and all that, you have the the large uh, uh, hump with the round hole. So if you wear gloves and all that, you know, it catches on your on your glove and it open up and close easily. Um, I can say that the titanium version is something that uh, you would go for if you want something out of the ordinary and you have the budget for it. 
So this one I believe is uh, I think touching 300 US dollars in in the uh, retail market. Um, the CPMD2 version is about 200 plus US dollars. Um, the military continues to to uh, be a flagship knife in in Spyderco's uh, lineup. Uh, two other versions actually came up uh, after that. Uh, you have the paramilitary, a smaller version, and uh, para three, I believe, even even smaller than that, which is one of uh, Spider Co's uh, most popular knives at the moment. I, I believe there is a cult status for the Spider Co paramilitary. Um, I I haven't. Uh, got hold of the knife because I, I for small knives I prefer something that is that is a bit different I like this one because it's really really beefy it's got a lot of belly when I when I pop it up you know it feels really good on my hands and uh, as far as um, usage is concerned all the right stuff was built the choil is actually textured you, you can have a really good grip using the knife and uh, I can't say more for the flat ground you know it's just great for slicing and uh as far as, as this knife is concerned is something that i will rotate uh carry with the endura on and my um, chris reef uh, omnum zan even the sabenza i will get to the chris reef uh, chris reef's knife later and yeah that's it in a nutshell you know you, you have it uh, the spider co uh, titanium military and the cpm d2 so Thanks for watching.